Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today I have some big news. The Series 13 rules for VGC, which will start I believe September 1st, uh, have just leaked. Um, this is the presumably the post-worlds format for all the regionals and locals that we'll have. Uh, and so I wanted to do my first reactions and I'm joined in call by a number of players by with uh, Rajan Ball, Gavin Michaels, Elisa, Nick Navar, uh, John Hu, Justin Burns, and Z. Uh, so, okay, so first question, guys. Uh, do you think this is actually the uh, Series 13 rule set? I think it's yeah. like 50-50. Um, I, I really want the intern to have messed up and have put it on by accident. And we this is a fever dream. I mean, so your I thought know, was... So much opium. Your thought was that, like, there are no... There are no bans or anything, right? And so maybe they just forgot to put a ban list in um, and when they published it, which maybe could be the case. But I do think that this is a really interesting way for the uh, the Generation 8 to go out. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually the, the real rule set. And I think it probably is. Well, yeah, like considering... It is affirmed in the format. Like, they are el listed as eligible, and it's not just they're written off. So I think that the format does have them on legal. It's just whether it's, like, actually the official format. I would consider this as truth because there's already like photo evidence of Japanese players testing the rule set and allowing all the money. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like, I mean, I, frankly, if real, when but... Japanese Twitter gets the rule set, it's a real rule set. I just wish it was not a real rule set. Well, no, it's a real rule set. It, the question is whether or not it's going to be the rule set for VGC events. And that's, I think, that's I think the... it's still like, whatever. That's the only question, is whether it's for VGC. The <laughs> better question is, do you want this more or Series 12 more? This. this Honestly, I want this one. Without a doubt. Do I think this is just a fire. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think that this is a... I don't know if this is a better format than Series 12, but at least uh, Series 12, as it has developed, <laughs> is, is kind of stale. And so I'd rather play a brand new thing post-Worlds than play Series 12. Uh, this is a bunch of months that people haven't used before and won't get to use very often, and so uh, we're gonna have fun with it. Uh, yeah, and y'all are gonna y'all are gonna love using Mel Metal. Just saying. Realistically, I even get I metal. Like, love post metal. Is kinda, like you're you're if if you're playing more than an event in post worlds, you're kind of doing it to yourself just because of the way that events spread out and like how much time you have. So like. I think it's a very fun novelty format that I'm going to play one to two events in and then talk about it five years later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, so are you guys excited for this format? Are you happy with the rule set or uh, very unhappy? What's the, what's the, how are you guys feeling? I'm going to watch the I mean, chaos unfold, baby. Yeah, pretty much. I was not, I like, I didn't play VG at Nats. I played cards instead. And so, I am going to play this format at least a little bit. Um, like, I'd attend the regional in this format, I wouldn't play the Series 12 regional. My take on this format is, like, it feels like it is going to be a relative slugfest, right? Just because, while some of these, like, mythical Pokemon have had, uh, like, utility moves in the past, they're kind of nuked, right? Like, you don't got, like, random follow me or anything. Yeah, Rachi... Rachi's a shadow it's just, it's itself, like, if it had full moves, for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so Jirachi's not in the game, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we do have a full list of... Yeah, it's a shadow of itself. <laughs> That's what he said. We do have yeah, a Jirachi list of... Shadow. We do have a list of mythicals that are in the game and not in the game, compiled by John. So if, if this is wrong, blame him. Uh, and he said that the, the legal mythicals are going to be Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, Victini, Keldeo, Genesect, Deontzi, Volcanion, uh, Magirna, Marshadow, Zerora, Melmetal, and Zerud. Uh, apologies if I mispronounce any of these. I have literally never said any of these names before. Um, which ones are you guys most excited for? <laughs> Magirna is so stupid. <laughs> um, would you would you like to speak like, up, Burns? Metal, Metal Metal's also causing a lot of hype. So so please explain um, why why is Magirna so stupid for those who don't know. Okay, Magirna's ability Soul Heart uh, uh, says that whenever something in the field uh, dies. Uh, it gets plus one special attacks. I, I meant what I said. <laughs> um, Any uh, it's uh it's like pretty slow, it's not super slow, it's like base sixty something speed I think. Sixty five probably. Um but and it's like pretty fat but not extremely fat. 
uh, it does get trick room, but it just um, it snowballs extremely hard. And uh, if you give it an inch, it takes a mile. Um, mm -hmm. And it can Dynamax now, uh, too, which it can't in other formats. It, so. it, it does get to Steel Spike, um, and it can, like, uh, Fairy Max is not terrible just to block status, because that's, like, one of the ways that you would stop it otherwise. Yeah. I, I definitely think that, at least from what I've heard, Magirna is uh, public enemy number one. Um, at least among the new Pokemon, I think Sasha and Kyoko Groudon are still going to be absolutely insane in this format as well. Uh, For reference, in past gens, uh, Magirna has been banned in uh, doubles Ubers, um, and that's like a format that a lot of Primal Groudon. So that's the power level that we're dealing with with Magirna. Um, <laughs> so, um, any any other Pokemon on this list that you think are going to make a huge impact? Frankly, I think Shadow Riders cracked. All these mods like just take neutral to ghost, and it's just faster than everything still. Mm -hmm. I I think every mon has like I feel like teams are just gonna have more Pokemon that Shadow Rider just gets to Astro Barrage go burr against. Right, and uh, if you're putting uh, all these restricted on your team, well, most of them don't have something like a max airstream. It's actually really hard to to generate speed control without using one of your Pokemon slots on a non restricted that you know, may not be as impactful uh, as putting another restricted air team. So it's going to be a little interesting because, of course, the format does not have a limit to restricted, so I don't think I mentioned, but there's just it, you can just add as many mythicals and restricted as you want. Um, so you do have to decide now, make these tough decisions. Do I want the Incineroar on my team or do I want a 680 based or a, one of these crazy 600 based total Pokemon on my team instead? The answer is you use ho Ho like, never is the second best restricted for your team. But it's always the third best restricted for your team, and it always contributes. Um, o is going to be everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. And it, like, can air stream. I think it gets Tailwind. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's just, like, one of the main things. It, it, it does not It does not get Tailwind in, ser in Series 12 rules. Really? You know what gets Tailwind in Gen 8? You have Elpo. Evil Tall is the only restricted that gets Tailwind. I think that's probably the one. <laughs> then. Um, I, I think yeah. I think Yveltal's super cool because like it's really hard to justify running Tailwind on one of your restricted Pokemon when you only get two of them. But now that that opportunity cost isn't really a thing, you can give it Tailwind. You can give it Foul Play and let it sit in front of the Calyrexes, uh, mm -hmm. come in on stuff after Trick Revenge and hit it for like around a third to half. Like it's it seems pretty good. Yeah, that's like one of the main things is that you can just use restricted mons on um, supportive rolls. So, right. Uh, you, you don't have to have them carry your damage output. Considering yeah. that, you do have, like, as Adi was saying, while mythicals are kind of cracked, right? Like, they're not all, like, they're not Zacian. I mean, Melmetal kind of is, but you can still run Zacian yeah, no, and, and Melmetal. Like, and Dynamax or Zacian. Mm -hmm. Ho-Oh sure. and Evil Tall and, like, all these guys. Right. Um, but, I mean, one thing we've seen, even in Series 12, is that when you can use your restrict like your restrictors are so powerful you only have two of them but support csr where you're using snarl and will-o-wisp is already so powerful your restricted having or uh trick room palkia as more of a support pokemon is already so powerful having these support options as restricted is already good now that you don't have that opportunity cost um i think that something again like the csr set where you have wisp uh could be really good uh something like maybe zamazenta could be really interesting because now it's not taking up a restricted slot and it can really buff it is probably the best support pokemon that has been made um, ever. I don't know. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. But uh, I, I think it might have a role. Remain, remains to be seen. Other than Smeargle. I mean, other than Smeargle. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it does have a lot of tools. Um, and then, I guess a couple other Pokemon I want to touch on. Uh, I think Marshadow is going to be crazy because it can uh, just steal stat boosts so easily, especially if you're running something like a Choice Scarf. Uh, steal the Zacian stat boosts and then get your plus one attack right off right away with Spectral Thief, I think is what it's called. Yep, that's um, called Spectral Thief. And then similarly, uh, you can steal Magirna's stat boost potentially uh, if they haven't gotten any speed boosts. And so that's another Pokemon that I think could have a lot of potential. Um, and then, because I know we got some DLU players here, uh, I want someone to talk about Melmetal. Yeah, so <clears throat> Melmetal is basically a, like the most optimized Steel-type stats ever. It's like basically all the stats except for Special Defense and Speed are like well above like what is it one the lowest one like 130 it's like 130 hp or something 
right? It's like yeah. 140s. It's 143s and 137s, I think. Yeah, and so basically, in doubles, you just EV it to like you just you push put dump like as much as you can in special defense, and then you can do whatever you want with the rest. You get um, the kind of treatment. Yeah, and it it probably will get overshadowed by Magirna, but like, honestly, like a physical. A physical steel type that's just absurd defensive stats. It can Dynamax. It can give itself Quake boost. It can give itself Steel Spike boost. It's, it 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 could go crazy. Double Probably Iron Gas plus Iron Fist plus Flinch Chance plus hundred percent accurate Steel move. Honestly, yeah. like, with Mem Metal and Majorna being so crazy, except for their speed, it does kind of convince me that Amoongus is definitely gonna like be good in this format, just because otherwise it's like. How else are we stopping it? Right. Well, honestly, that's what I was thinking. Like, you know, Regialki is ugly really good. It's one of the few very powerful forms of speed control, other than like Evil Tall, like you mentioned. Um, I still think that something, or I think something like um, Incineroar, Amoongus, Grimmsnarl are all going to be super relevant Pokemon. They just do very good things, even if you don't, even if they're taking up a restricted slot, essentially. They they are such powerful Pokemon. So, uh, even maybe even like Whimsicott, if you really want speed control. Uh, this is, I, I have on screen right now the, uh, uh, Kara for Pokey tweeted out a uh, Japanese tournament. It's only, only a 19 player, so not a huge tournament, but that did have uh, all Pokemon legal. Um, and we do see some of the Pokemon, like Aleki, uh, like Incineroar, still get really high usage. Um, we also see that the uh, top new Pokemon that in, in terms of usage is actually Marshadow, which I don't know if that's... I don't even know if they have Magirna. I feel like Magirna would be up there if, they, if, they, if it was legal, but Marshadow and Zoroara, um had a lot of usage in this tournament, along with uh, some Pokemon like Zamazenta and Ho, like we talked about. So, uh, yeah. So I guess um, you guys want to uh, go through the uh, the list and tell me one po- list of people. Tell me one Pokemon that you are really excited to use or uh, really excited to see in action. Starting with uh, Rajan, just going in order of names. Uh, I think that Victini is interesting. It's a, I know there's Dynamax in the format, but it's a base 100 HP final Gambit guy, which we don't really get to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, like, it's the highest base HP final Gambit guy, so if you do little silly things like next to Magirna or, uh, or something along those lines, you're kind of forced to Dynamax to compensate for that, and I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah, Gavin, you want to go? I'm excited for Volcanion. I think it has a lot of uh, role consolidation that's potentially interesting. It might be trash, but like, at least in my theory, it's like, well, it should be... Doesn't it kind of just hard counter Zacian? Mm-hmm. Like, like... Wild Charge is the only thing that hits it, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know, that's worth its weight in gold. I mean, maybe we see Zacian run start running Wild Charge just because of Kyogre and... Uh, potentially Volcania, potentially uh, Evil Tall, Ho Ho, stuff like that. I don't know, but yeah, definitely an interesting Pokemon. Uh, Elisa, you got any thoughts? Yes, truthfully, my answer is Mew, solely because like about six years ago, I left my laptop on for 16 hours to RNG like a flawless shiny Mew. I've never had the chance to use it. Um, this might be it. I know it's moveful, it's severely restricted, but it seems like it could be an interesting transformer potentially. And mm-hmm. the actual viable option, I'd say, is Magirna just to press buttons because, oh my god, do I just want to press buttons so bad right now? This seems like the perfect format for it. So Mew, of course, learns every single TM, TR, Move Tutor in the game, uh, yeah. but it doesn't learn so the ones from past generations anymore uh, just because of uh, the way the transfer of Pokemon works. And so uh, are there any notable moves that I'm not thinking of that it gets that are insane other than transfer? Teleport. Teleport's a good... Wait, does it get teleport? It should get yeah. teleport, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, so, really the that guy's move pool is restricted. It's taking like 30 seconds to scroll through the move pool and show down. <laughs> so Mew, Mew actually gets um, imprison and transform. In the way that it interacts with it, you click intr- imprison and then you click transform. The imprison effect still applies. Um, and so all four moves that uh, get, imprisoned. get imprisoned. So if you. It's, Interesting. In Dio, in Dio you that jail you because you just put one of their pokemon in jail oh, that's, awesome. that's so slow though it is a little slow but it is a little slow like, slow. Do you, you had dynamax ban right like that has to yeah. be 
So, I mean, like, it's, I think that's it's just something way too people. Small. It's something people might still attempt to like lock up games. I so yeah, if you are, I think even without in prison, I think kind of is a really good move. Role, except uh, significantly more reliable at actually winning the end game. So wait, if you're fully imprisoned uh, and you click fight, you don't get the option to Dynamax, right? You immediately struggle. No, you just struggle. You struggle. Okay, so so they have to Dynamax really proactively if they wanted to get around it. Yeah. Um, yeah, with imprison yeah, up, game with it in prison, and then transform. Like right, yeah. So it still takes two button presses, and that feels yeah. really soft. Yeah, no, I'm I'm actually like really happy with the comparison to Shadinja. Like you just try a game with it. Okay. Uh, so nails, you got a Pokemon in mind? Um. Well, Nagirna number one. Uh. But uh, aside from that, I'm gonna go with. Uh, ho -Oh, even though it's been legal in a lot of formats, it's been really tough to fit it onto a team because it, like, you need, in two restricted formats, you need your restricteds to carry their damage output uh, for your team. And ho -Oh is not really a carry, it's just like a very consistently good mon that has, like, an annoying typing and just uh, deals solid damage. And it's, like, the best third banana ever. Um, and so I'm going to be, I'm excited to see it, like, finally get a chance to shine. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. John, what do you got? Yeah, I'm a, a ghost and bug type fanatic, so it's probably Marsh Shadow, the real answer. But if I had to mess around with a Mon before like settling in, Genesect, Mon's probably not great anymore. I probably can't keep up with its stat spread. But a Bug Steel type never hurts, um, and I think maybe I'll mess with that before settling on something else. But those two, Marsh Shadow and Genesect, I'm looking at. All right, Justin. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Melmetal fan. I I think it was really fun to play in DOU, and it's nice to have, like, a steel type with stats. Zacian, like, obviously we've been playing it with it for a while, and its stats are really good, but it's also, like, just obscenely oppressive, um, whereas Melmetal is a little more fair. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely, like, the insane bulk, the insane attack, just the ridiculous coverage is it's just it's gonna be a fun to play uh do you think that uh with zashin being legal uh like is it worth running zashin melmetal on the same team a lot of times or do they kind of conflict a little bit um so steel types with like stats are really broken like the steel type in general is just really good um so you can definitely get away with like melmetal plus um, like Zacian or Melmetal plus Magirna because Magirna also gets like Trick Room um, so it can be like a Trick Room setter for Melmetal or, and for itself of course but, mm -hmm. and just Melmetal this coverage is so good that you can you can use it to support like other skill types like it gets Rock Slide so it can hit like Rockfall to Charizard it gets Ice Punch, Thunder Punch um, which is really good coverage it gets Earthquake or High Horsepower which is like also Good offensive typing and also like gives you max quake boosts it's just it, it can do like a lot of different stuff and it mm -hmm. can body press it can body press that's it awesome. can like steel spike you, three you times and, and then steel yeah spike a couple times and then have a bunch of boosts it, it max normal level goes pretty hard mm -hmm. all right and last but not least z do you have a pokemon in mind for this format I sure do. It's uh, like I talked about earlier, the support of Evelta with Tailwind really sticks out to me. Uh, you know, Evelta kind of fell off in like the latter half of this format. And I think that it just gets, like Nail said, it, it's like a really easy third guy to stick onto your core and just have like quick Tailwind, quick Snarl to do your things, foul play, and really just uh, assist your main damage dealers in getting all the blows they need and staying healthy. And yeah. it also. Uh, stays it, it also just has like good matchups into a lot of things like there's not a lot that can outright oko it and with you know multiple ghost uh psychic types and stuff like color x ice around like it just seems uh pretty well poised to like come in and click foul play on a lot of things mm -hmm. yeah i mean we saw uh pado win a regional in series 12 with uh glaring moltres which is you know functionally a budget evil tall uh and i'm sure that teams like that would really appreciate having an evil tall on the team i know i've put Moltres, tested Moltres, just because I wanted something that fits that role uh, on teams. And so obviously, even though it's going to be a very different format, even though things like Magirna are going to be legal, I do think that um, that typing, uh, that some of those listed support options are really, really powerful 
Um, and so having that on a team, even if it's your third or fourth best Pokemon, uh, does seem really, really good. And so, yeah, those are uh, all the questions I had. Does anyone have any uh, final thoughts on the format before we wrap it up? Um, this format looks like a bunch of fun for uh, uh, like a really good way to see the gen out. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Final. Go ahead. It will be a series of entertaining group bats for a couple of months. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be one of the series of all time, honestly. <laughs> it will definitely be one of the series of all time. This series is going to be trash, but it's going to be like reality TV show trash. You know what I mean? Like Junk food Pokemon. Yeah, it's junk food Pokemon. <laughs> but not good junk food. It's Twizzlers Pokemon. Oh. This is an Arby's format. Hold on. Arby's format. Did I just hear some Twizzlers? Did I just hear some Twizzlers dissing? Twizzlers are bad. I don't know, man. Twizzlers uh -huh. are sick. Y'all are capping. Yeah, this is not a one-year format. This is like a three-month format. And, and that's meant to be. This will definitely tide um, us over until Scarlet Violet comes up with this new gimmick that'll also be stupid, but whatever. That's exactly how I feel. I think it's a format that's going to be fun to play for one, maybe two events, and there. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to grind it. I think that after a couple months, it's going to be awful, but in that time period, I think it'll be a lot of fun to explore all you these You want to be the person that discovers a new broken. And I'm, I'm attending one... Exactly one event. I'm attending one event, and it's LAIC, or whatever the ice is in November. There is an international challenge in Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you played I wish. Before. All right. Uh, so, with all that being said, uh, thank you all for watching. Down in the comments, let us know what restricted or what Pokemon in general you are most excited for uh, in this potentially new Series 13. Um, thank you guys all for, for joining uh, this video. And until next time, I will see you all later.